In this video, we head to Spring Valley to visit one of the oldest houses in Southern California and the spring that the town was named after. Hidden away in a somewhat industrial section of Spring Valley is the Bancroft Ranch House, the Bancroft Rock House, and the spring for which Spring Valley gets its name. There is a historic marker in the Bancroft Ranch House's parking lot as the site is a California and National Historic Landmark. One interesting thing of note is that on the other side of the historic marker you can find what is considered San Diego County's smallest veterans memorial. Now even though the ranch house, rock house, and spring were all once part of the same property, they are currently administered by different organizations, with the Spring Valley Historical Society in charge of the ranch house and the County of San Diego in charge of the rock house and the spring. At the Bancroft Ranch House site there is of course the Bancroft Ranch House which was built in 1863 and a couple of other buildings including the building on the far right which was built as a bomb shelter during World War II. As mentioned earlier the house is a registered National Historic Landmark. It was built in May 1863 by Augustus Ensworth. Some of the timbers that were used in construction of the building were salvaged from the Clarissa Andrews which is a freighter that shipwrecked in San Diego Bay. And at the entrance there is a section of the wall that isn't plastered so you can see the adobe underneath. The two room ranch house is currently a museum with one room being dedicated to the Native American history of the area. With the natural spring nearby, the area was once the home of the Kumeyaay people. In 1775 Spanish Padres baptized some of the Kumeyaay from a nearby village at the springs and named the springs San Jorge or St. George. Universities used to do archaeological digs at the ranch house and at the springs next door and found artifacts dating all the way back to 700 AD. The digs are no longer taking place because it's against the wishes of the Kumeyaay people, but you can find some of the artifacts that were found previously in this part of the museum. As well as artifacts that are not from the site but that have been gifted to the museum. The ranch house's other room focuses on the American history of the site. So Augustus Innsworth built the house in 1863 and in 1865 it was sold to Rufus King Porter, the son of the founder of Scientific American for $400. In 1885, Hubert Howe Bancroft, who wrote a 39 volume history of Western North America, including Alaska, Western Canada, Central America, Mexico, and parts of the United States, purchased the house for $8,000 to operate as a gentleman's farm. After Bancroft's death in 1918, his heirs divided up the estate and the Spring Valley Chamber of Commerce acquired the house in 1940. The library Bancroft amassed in pursuit of his research totaled over 60,000 volumes and is now located at the University of California, Berkeley. Attached to the back of the adobe are a couple of rooms that are later additions to the house. The room that we are currently in is where you will find the guest book as well as more information on the history of the area including biographies of the people who own the house. And in the very back you'll find the meeting room for the Spring Valley Historical Society which also features more exhibits about Spring Valley. One thing we thought was really interesting is there was a piece of the original Spring Valley schoolhouse and information on some of the first Spring Valley teachers. Next to the ranch house, the building on the left has restrooms and houses the archives of the Spring Valley Historical Society, and the building on the right is the aforementioned World War II era bomb shelter. The building is now being used to store equipment, but if you look on the ground inside the building, you can see where the regiment who constructed it wrote their information in the cement. The soldiers had also left a time capsule, and when they dug it up, they discovered it was a case of Pap's Blue Ribbon beer. The lawn and garden area of the Bancroft Ranch House site is pretty nice as well and does include some native plants that would have been found during Kumeyaay times. There is also plenty of shade and a few picnic tables to sit and relax at. From the property's back fence you can see the spring for which Spring Valley gets its name and the Bancroft Rock House which was built by Bancroft in the 1880s. Both the rock house and the area surrounding the spring are administered by the County of San Diego. The park area surrounding the location of the spring is fenced off and closed to the public currently, 
though we were given a tour of the area. The palm trees here were planted in 1883, though the county does plan on removing them to return the park to its natural state. And now while the spring was once a great source of water and brought people to the area for thousands of years, there's not much of it to look at nowadays with very little water being above ground. But this is the spring that Spring Valley is named for. But from the spring you can get a good look at the Bancroft Rock House, which was built in the 1880s by Bancroft as a fireproof storage house for his historical materials. Unlike the spring, you can actually go up to the rock house and there are informational signs posted there. Though you cannot go inside and apparently there is actually nothing currently inside of it. But it is interesting to take a look at. Eventually all three properties will be part of one park as the Spring Valley Historical Society will be giving the Bancroft House to the County of San Diego at some point in the future. Though to be honest I kind of wish it was the other way around as the Spring Valley Historical Society has seemingly done a better job of promoting the history of the area and making the Bancroft Ranch House far more accessible than the County of San Diego has with their portion of the park. If you're in the area, the Bancroft Ranch House is definitely worth stopping to take a look around, especially if you're into the history of the San Diego region. I do also want to thank the Spring Valley Historical Society and Jim Van Meter for showing us around. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.